In this video, we're going to take a look at solving systems of linear equations by graphing. So, graphing, when we're given a system of equations, is one way that we can solve and come up with the value that's going to work in both, the, both equations for x and y. Maybe not the most efficient all the time, but it's there if we need it. So we'll start by just graphing the two equations that we're given and we're going to see how they interact. So this first one, remember if we want to graph equations on the coordinate plane, we should first get them into the slope intercept form so that we can just look at them and then graph. Remember slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So we need to solve it for y. This first one, we have y equals x plus 1. Well, that's already in slope intercept form starts at 1 on the y-axis right here and then it's going to go up 1 over 1 because my slope is also 1 so up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 and so on then I can draw my line um, then we're going to go ahead and take a look at that second one while well, the second one is still is not quite ready to be placed onto my coordinate plane because it is not yet solved for y. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw this one in here. Just make sure I'm in all the right spots. And there we go. Okay, so that's the first one. Then the second one, I need to solve that for y first. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract 2 here from both sides. So now I have 2y, I just flipping it around because the y thing's usually on the left hand side. We can do that. y equals x minus 2. Then I need to divide by 2 on each piece. Divide by 2. So then I'm left with y equals x divided by 2, well that would be 1 half x. Neg minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So for that one, I'm going to start at the point negative 1 on the y-axis. So if I go down here to negative 1, then to get additional points, I'm going to go, remember slope is rise over run, so I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. So up 1, over 2, up 1, over 2, up 1, over, oops, went up 2 there, up 1 over 2, I goofed right out of the, the chute here I think, yep, up 1 over 2, let me back up a few spots here, okay, so we're starting at negative 1, be very careful, there's our first point, that's our y-intercept. Then my slope is rise over run, 1 over 2. So I'm going to go up 1, over 2 is my first point, up 1, over 2. And I can do this again and again as long as I want till I get all the points I'd like. Then up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. And in this case, to go to the left, we want to go down 1. That's a negative 1. And to the left, 2. That's a negative 2. Negative divided by negative gives me the positive, so that's the same as the positive 1 over 2. Then I'm going to connect the dots, so we'll start right here and just swing on through. Then if I look, I want to see how my graphs interact with each other. Three things can happen. They can cross in one point they can be right on the same line or they can be parallel in this case it looks like they cross so let's see if we can pick out the point where they cross well we go back here negative one two three four and then down one two three so the point where they cross is negative four negative three now, that should work in both equations here. So let's go ahead and put it in and see what happens. If I put it in my first one, negative 4 plus 1, that is negative 3. 
put it in my second one y is negative 3 here so negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 sure enough so it works alright then let's try this next one the first equation again is all set and ready to graph so we don't even have to do any changing there we just have to find the points that we want it's the y-intercept is negative 2 so we go right down here then our slope is 3 so that means up 3 1 2 3 over 1 right there up 3 1 2 3 over 1 up 3 1 2 3 over 1 and so on till we get all the points that we want to work with so from here I can also go down 3 1 2 3 and to the left one because remember that's a negative over a negative which is positive as well so there are my points I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line to connect those and it'll look something like that okay then my second equation ooh, that one's not ready to graph yet so I need to do a little bit of work on that one got how to do that well I gotta get the y by itself so I'm gonna subtract x from both sides so I have y equals minus x plus 6. Okay, so where do I start? Well, y-intercept, which is 6. I'm going to start there. And before I do that, I'm going to change colors just to show the different lines. So I'm going to go up to plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right there. And in this case, my slope is negative 1. So that means I'm going to go down 1, that's a negative 1, and then over 1 to the right, that's a positive 1. Negative 1 divided by positive 1 is negative 1. So then make my points going down 1 over 1 as I continue. And same thing going this way. I could go up 1 and then to the left 1 to take care of that negative as well. So up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1 and so on then I have my points I'm gonna go ahead and connect the dots and there we go oh in this case notice the lines cross in one point let's find what that point is so we can find the solution for that system so in this case we go over two up one two three four so the solution to this system is two four alright let's look at one last problem here in this case both of them have not been solved for y so I need to get y by itself well for this top one I'm gonna subtract x from both sides so that's gonna give me y minus equals excuse me minus x plus two then the second one I need to get y by itself there to do that, I'm going to add y. So I'm going to add y. That gives me x equals y plus 4. Then I'm going to subtract 4 to get that over by the x and the y by itself. So that gives me y equals x minus 4. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and graph each of those. To graph the first one, what I need to do is start at 2 our y-intercept our B so we go up here to 2 that's our first point then the slope is negative again negative 1 so that means down 1 over 1 down 1 over 1 and so on to get all the points that I would like in this case I'm going up 1 and to the left 1 which is also a negative one other thing that you can check as you're working on um, graphing problems like this notice that the sign of the slope is negative well what kind of a slope is this it's a negative slope we know things that go from left to right and go down are negative are negative slopes so we need to go ahead and make sure that our graph does have a negative slope so then I get all those points. I'm going to go ahead and connect the dots and see what we've got here. So 
connect the dots a little something like so Let's make sure we're getting in all the right spaces here okay something like that so that's my first equation my second equation y equals x minus 4 well I need to start again in the at the y-intercept which in this case is negative 4 so I go down 1 2 3 4 right there's my first point on the y-axis then my slope is 1 so that means up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 and so on then I just draw my line through those points so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right over here and bring it through so it looks something like that again my lines cross in one point and that point in this case is over 3 down 1 so the point would be 3 negative 1 okay solving systems of linear equations by graphing when we do that we graph them both on the same coordinate plane and then see how they interact there's three different things that can happen they can meet in one point or cross at one point in which case there's one solution they can be the same line right on top of each other or they can be parallel lines in which there is no solutions if it's the same line there's infinitely many solutions because they're overlapping constantly so remember those lines are infinitely large and there will be an infinite men number of solutions then I hope this is helpful in terms of solving via graphing and keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do great